may impact families that don't have enough to eat. Our team coverage continues with CBS 12's Al Pethley, who says this weekend, one local nonprofit worked to do their part to curb hunger. Normally on a Sunday, this warehouse would be quiet, but you can see it's a very busy place as they're packing boxes of food with peanut butter and other things to try to help people because of the threat from the coronavirus. Alana Wurtzman, a business development manager, took part of her Sunday to volunteer and help pack food boxes at Feeding South Florida, a nonprofit charity in Boynton Beach. It's a really scary time that we're living in right now. Because of the coronavirus threat, schools are closing, and that means some kids who would get free breakfast and lunch at school might not have as much to eat because they're not in school. It's really scary that, one, they're not getting the education they need. They're not getting the meals that they need. So these food boxes will help their parents put food on the table at home. This is definitely a huge team effort right now. Each box contains enough food for a family of four for about five days. These boxes will go to schools in Palm Beach County and also to more than two dozen community locations where parents can pick them up. This nonprofit group gives out food to nearly 200,000 people in Palm Beach County each year. It's incredibly sad to know that families right here in some of the wealthiest areas in the United States struggle to put food on the table. But the need is expected to be even greater now due to the coronavirus pandemic because some parents may have to give up their paychecks and stay home from work and watch their children while school is out. These meal boxes make an incredible difference. Um, it could be the difference between a child having dinner at night um, or having nothing. She says they expect the demand to increase. And this is unprecedented for many of us. Um, it probably will get worse before it gets better. Normally they would have 10 shifts a week of volunteers packing these food boxes. But due to the coronavirus threat, they'll now add two more shifts every week. And that will continue, they say, for the foreseeable future. In Boynton Beach, Al Pefley, CBS 12 News. Several school districts